Hi fashion sewers! In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the stay stitch. My name is Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. Here I've got a bodice and this is just a basic standard size bodice that you would kind of uh, find adapted into blouses and tops etc. Now a stay stitch is what you do inside of the seam allowance. So as you can see here I've got chalk markings and that represents the seam line if I've sewn this garment together and if I just show you that there that is what you call a stay stitch. Now stay stitch is to keep the grain line within the cut piece of garment so in order for us to keep the round curved edge from stretching like so if I just show you there what you do is stay stitch which minimises the stretching. Now I'll show you a little bit more of that once I go to the sewing machine and show you how to actually do that. So that's the bodice. Now the skirt section, as you can see I've done it again, I've marked in chalk the actual seam line in which you'd actually sew the garment together and if I just fold that over and there's the stay stitching and that's within the seam allowance. That's along the curved and along the curved edge there. I'm now going to show you how to do the stay stitch. Now this is on the shoulder line and as you can see the stay stitching stops it from stretching. Now I'll just show you the side that I'm going to be showing you how to stitch. Can you see the stretch? That's there. So the stay stitching stops it from stretching and because it's cut at an angle. Right, so we need to start from the highest point down to the lowest point and do not back tack, there's no need for you to back stitch, back tack and I'm going to use the width of my feet so the edge of the feet here is going along the cut edge of the garment. Needle down and just so just stay with the same stitch length that you'll usually use but if you're working with a loose fabric, loose woven fabric, then I would actually go a little bit smaller. Okay, remember, no back stitching. Lift that up, pull it out, and then cut. Okay, now that edge is done. Now I'm going to turn this over, because remember, when you start from the high point down to the low point. Get under there. Needle down, Ooh, lost my thread there, didn't do a long enough tail. <laughs> Get that in there. Let's see if I can do this in one go. Go for that angle just to make it a little bit easier to thread through my needle. Yay, got it. There we go. Okay, look at my feet. Get that under there myself a long enough tail right, down needle down so straight right to the end it's important that you actually go right to the end no cheating no cutting corners because remember we want to keep with the grain of the fabric and then remember start from high point we've been down to a low point so So you continue doing that on the same side that I've done here. So you do the side seam and then when you actually come to do the hip area here, you need to start sewing from that point up to that point. And the reason why, because you're starting from the widest to the narrow, which is the waistline. Hip level to the waistline. Okay, now I'll just show you how to do the Good. Okay. So remember, we're starting from the high point, working our way down to the low point. So I'm going to just flip that over, put it under my, my machine, make sure I got a long enough tail this time. Feet down, needle down in my work. 
here and making sure that the edge of my feet is along the cut edge of your sewing project. All the way. Meet the other one. Up, oh, you out, cut your threads, and then, as I said, you work from turn your work upside down because remember you're coming from the widest to the narrow which is the waistline so I'm starting at the hip level here down all the way around all the way to the top right across and that's done okay there we have it that's stay stitching I hope you found that demonstration useful. Um, I just want to recap before I go, just to tell you when you need to do stay stitching. Stay stitching is done on every single project that you do that has a curved line or an angled line. As I said before, it's to keep or let's say to fix the grain within the cut piece of pattern that you've actually done. That's the reason why you need to do it. It's to stop it from stretching so when you actually want to match up all the different points within your garment the stay stitching will allow that to happen without or let's say with the minimal amount of stretching possible so um i hope you found that useful and until my next video i look forward to seeing you then don't forget to subscribe to fashion sewing blog um, tv channel and i'll see you next time